After entrepreneur and peace activist Elman Ali Ahmed was killed in 1996, his wife and children established the Elman Peace and Human Rights Centre in Mogadishu. Now, his Somali-Canadian daughter, Ilwud Elman, is following in the social activist's footsteps through her work in Somalia. My name is Elwad Elman. Um, I was born in Somalia. I left when I was a year and a half, and I grew up in Canada. About five and a half years ago, I decided to move back to Somalia to see what role I could play in the peaceful transition out of conflict. In addition to assisting victims of violence, the centre runs workshops targeting vulnerable youth with the goal of de-radicalising them. The reasons why people join armed groups like Al-Shabaab is, um, is different. Some of it is for sustenance, purely based on economics. Some of them it's because they become separated or orphaned from their families and their nuclear protection mechanisms that used to exist. Others it's because of ideology and these are all things that we aim to tackle through the in interventions that we have in Somalia. Ms Elman argues that a shift in focus is needed to move away from the traditional conflict labels of perpetrators and victims and into language that facilitates rehabilitation for both parties. One thing that I've learned from the people that I've been working with in Somalia is that even those that can be considered supporters of peace, those that could be considered perpetrators, there's a reason why they contributed to these um, horrendous acts. By eliminating those grievances that they have, we are able to take people that were contributing to armed conflict to now become ambassadors for peace. And we do this through the socio-economic rehabilitation and reintegration of those that are directly involved with the armed group. I'm very humbled in the work that I do in the sense of seeing so much transformation happening in individual people's lives. That's success for me, when the lessons that they learn from my center and the support that they have received, they are now giving it to other people. It's very disappointing that we always talk about how to build peace, how to counter violent extremism, and we always look at the largest demographic of those that are involved as either victims or perpetrators. And when it comes to the convenings where they actually have the chance to input, they are marginalized. So I feel that if we paid more attention on working with those that are the majority that are contributing to these issues, then we have a better chance of actually eradicating them. We need to engage with those that are at the very grassroots. This is Kate Roth reporting for Peace News.